Hello Aquarius, welcome to Mystic Moons. Let us see what's in your energy Aquarius. And do keep in mind this is a reading for the general collective. Roles can be reversed. Also gender roles can be reversed as well. If you like what you see Aquarius consider subscribing to those of you who have already subscribed thank you for your time today Aquarius let me know if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up a like or a comment well same thing like a cup or a thumbs up <laughs> um, or you could donate if you like you could donate for the collective readings You can also request, if you'd like, a personal reading. Those are available. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this reading for the collective. The Tower Aquarius. What is the tower for you? Age of Wands, Hierophant, Four of Swords, well, a new phase is ending. A trip is about to begin next phase, another time to pick up and go Aquarius. Page of Wands. Can't wait to leave fast enough. Knight of Swords, let's see, Hierophant. Font clarified by Eight of Swords, Empress, Queen of Wands. Thinking about making a commitment to someone who you see at a higher station than you, someone very accomplished perhaps, if not that, or someone older. Four of Swords. Hmm. I'm going to have to clarify some things. See so that Nine of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone could be you, Aquarius. You view somebody as more accomplished or just more subtle than you. could be you see this person too as someone who you could learn from in this energy someone who you could learn from seven of wands the moon the moon knight of cups We have an appearance, Aquarius, the star. I'm going to throw a few more cards and then I'll get into what I see.
I do have a love reading here. Aquarius. Could this be you or is this someone coming towards you? If it's you, Aquarius, you're getting ready to make another move. Getting ready to make another move to find your people, find your home. Seems like you're a bit of a rush, Aquarius. It does appear that way. I wonder why you're in a rush. Maybe I should go and throw a card on this Eight of Swords. Hmm. Well, you are in a bit of a rush. Maybe I'll throw one more card to compliment the chariot. The world. Whereas you're a bit of a rush because there's someone who you would like to meet in committed energy. As I said, roles can be reversed. I'm just taking it as this is you about to go on the move again, about to shake things up. Aquarius, I wonder under this Hierophant energy. There's someone that you've been thinking of. And this person you've been thinking of is someone who is quite accomplished in their own way. Looks like you're resolved to come forward and to see what is up with this Empress energy, this Empress energetic person. There is someone, Queen of Wands, clarified by Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords, High Priestess. There is someone, Aquarius, who you want to find out what has this person been up to? What has this Queen of Wands been up to? Because you don't know. Now, of course, Aquarius, if this is not you, then someone is wondering in this energy, what have you been up to? They don't know. It's been a period of time. And they feel like enough time has gone by, they're going to go and reach out. I will say in this energy of Eight of Swords, clarified by Eight of Pentacles, it's like there was a necessary halt in your mind, Aquarius, if you're coming towards someone. What was this necessary halt? You had to work on things. Was it literally in Hierophant energy and eight of pentacle energy? Was it literally school? Literally work? Work that took you to other places in this energy travel that you had to do in this energy anyway there was something that was a necessary pause and Aquarius if you have not um you did not walk away, then this is someone who put a necessary pause or halt on your relationship because they had to do something. And it feels like relating to work or school. It's 
Four of Swords clarified by a Nine of Pentacles. This person does feel to be at a comfortable level or, or station higher than you. It's something about their achievements that's more ranked. I will also say in the Empress energy that could also indicate not only a skill difference, you know, skill mastery dis um, distance, but also an age difference too, right? One person could also be more mature in age, skills, maturity, financial stability, things like that. Anyway, this sort of is like the mini energy of that Empress energy that we saw way back here. The energy is echoed here. But it's echoed with tinges of insecurity, which is why it was necessary. Oops. Which is why it was necessary to level up under Taurus energy. Did I say Taurus energy? Excuse me. <laughs> under here, font energy. So, sometimes I get that way. I see the cards and I'm like, oh, that's a, a Scorpio. That's a Taurus. Anyway, no, I meant under um, to level up under here, font energy. Under that Four of Swords energy, they're going to come forward to explore a love connection. Aquarius or Aquarius, you're going to come forward to explore a love connection with someone because it's your greatest wish. Wish card amplified. You, Aquarius, really want to go and explore this. Really going to go and create another tower or Aquarius, someone is coming towards you in this energy. We do have some strong appearances here. We have Aquarius, we have Cancer, we have Taurus, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Water Signs, Virgo. Strong water. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, let me know if this resonates. If it does, give me a thumbs up or a comment. You can also donate to the collective readings if you'd like. There are cash app details as well as buy me a coffee. And Aquarius, if you're a subscriber, thank you for your time today. If you're not yet a subscriber, but if you are intrigued by what you see, would like to see more, consider supporting the channel. Aquarius. And each time I hear Aquarius, I think of that song and the musical hair, the age of Aquarius. It's also in like all those musical books you know, like for guitar, piano, um, where they uh, list like, you know, the greatest songs of each, of each group, well, the greatest, one of the greatest songs for the 60s is, of course, the Age of Aquarius. I think of that every time I hear Aquarius. Of course, I have people in my household who have prominent Aquarian placements. But yes, each time I, I hear that, I, I, I think of the song and the way that they do the chorus of Aquarius. Like no other sign, I think, has such an awesome song. Anyway, Aquarius, I just wanted to let you know that that's what I think of every time I hear the word Aquarius. I think of that song from the musical Hair. Of course, it's been so long since I've seen the musical hair. 
And I think I saw it underage, too. There were some things in there that were like, you know, <laughs> as it was playing. Um, they were like, oh, you know, you should go and watch hair. And then started to watch hair and maybe, oh, I don't know, half an hour into it. Oh, you saw enough of hair. But I remember that song. And of course, the I did play that song for quite a bit under the age of 10. Anyway, goodbye Aquarius with the moon in the seventh house and Jupiter aligned with Mars. And peace will guide the planet and love will rule the stars. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yes, that's what I think of. Anyway, <laughs> have a great uh, beginning of the week. Bye-bye.